welcome to one of the most unusual and heaviest item which is Locksport related that I got. It's this uh, closing cap of an underground foil tank of a gas station that was kindly sent to me by Talanpik or Carlos. Yeah, buddy, thank you very much. That's a really cool thing here. <laughs> um, I had a go on this lock before. Um, I filmed it, but I had some technical issues, so I um, know what I have to expect, and I will guide you through this lock one by one. Very cool item, I have to say. So, it's a, a dial or safe type combination lock. Um, that's the closing lid. You can see how this would work with this uh, kind of um, uh, locking. Um, elements here, so you would um, push it into the uh, part where it belongs to, and then you would turn it and cause the bolt to come out. Uh, currently, the bolt is in the um, locked state, it's out. Um, and when you want to open it, you dial in the right code, then the bolt would retract, and then you can turn this. Um, this part here, the cap, uh, by using the ring here and then pull it out and you can get access um, to whatever is um, hidden behind it. Um, fortunately we have a little hole here. So this was covered by the tape. Um, when we look inside the hole we can see there are moving parts. I turn the dial right now. It's a little bit awkward to hold. You can see there is something moving and that's the um, that's the wheels. So <clears throat> when we have access to the back of this part so we can uh, find out the code by looking through the hole. And course we need to note the combination then. Let me do this. Um, I have to change my setup for better lightning and then we will decode this lock by looking uh, inside this little hole here. Alright, this should work. I now turn the dial in the clockwise direction and nothing happens. That's because the other wheels that are connected to the dial need to um, connect themselves. And I do this by one full revolution, one by one. And at some point, uh, you can see now the second disc turning underneath this hole. The first disc should start turning. Ah, and it does. Now we should be able to see a gate at some point in time. So here is the gate. Turn it back until the second wheel starts turning again in the opposite direction. Uh, here it does. So here is the gate, the second gate. Turning clockwise again. The third wheel is turning. Here is the gate. And now when I turn it into the counterclockwise direction, it gives a click and now the bolt can be retracted by turning again in the clockwise direction. <laughs> so, that's how you can decode the lock when you have access to this little hole. Um, I will now do this again and note the combination and then we will see how this looks from the front. Alright, here is the code. It's clockwise 21, 52 counterclockwise the third time, 46 counterclockwise the second time, and then 0, and then reverse again to retract the bolt. So the bolt is currently out, it's in a locked state. Um, I turn it a couple of times into the clockwise direction and stop at 21. Zoom in a little bit. 21. That's here. So now to 52 the third time. First, 
second, not 52, 55, sorry, 55 the third time, here we go, then back to 46, first and second, so where is the bolt, here is the bolt, and now turn it back to zero, made a click, and now I turn it reverse again and you can see the bolt retracts. Alright, so here we have the code um, deduced by looking in the hole, not a big deal. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to now take it apart and we can inspect the parts. So here comes the cover off. What we have here is the front part with the dial. This is directly connected to this piece here, to this rectangular or quadratic shaped piece here. Nothing special here, direct connection. Um, this goes to the other side of that. Ah, here just the bolts came off. Um, this is actually the container for the wheel pack. So this is what is driven by that from the outer dial and inside here we have the wheel pack. Uh, you can see the bolt here is connected to this piece here, um, this rectangular shaped piece here and we can control this by turning um, this axis here, but of course, as this is um, the actual uh, combination part, the, the, the wheel pack is underneath. If we turn it a couple of times back and forth, all the wheels are shuffled and we cannot retract the bolt anymore because we have to dial in the right code again. So, how can we take this further part? We have to pull out the bolt. And nothing easier than that, just to use a pair of pliers and pull it out. It's press fit, that's how it looks like. And now we can get off this part here. That's the actual uh, container for the wheel pack, nothing left here. So let's see what's underneath this cover. Need a little screwdriver. As I said, I have opened this before, so I know what to expect. As you can see, I have successfully uh, reassembled the lock. <laughs> so let's. Ah, here, interestingly, we have some stickers, and I think this says uh, inspected by, inspected by six and inspected by maybe two or three quality control indicators. So let's get this off. All right, here we can see the wheel pack containing three wheels. Look at this just in a second. And here we have the mechanism that pulls on the bolt. So you remember here the bolt goes in this little hole. Um, so here is a, a bar that can drop down in this direction towards the center here when all the discs are aligned so that the wheels, uh, so that the, the gates are aligned like so and if this is the case at this position then the bar here can drop in so this is the um, the state where it's uh, not dropped and here it's dropped and you can see how this interacts so that's the last motion you do that's the last turning motion you turn it in this direction and therewith you can retract the locking bolt. And here you can 
push it back. It works better in the assembled, reassembled state, of course. So here you can retract it and here you can push it out again. Yeah, that's the last turning motion that you do. It's indicated by <laughs> one, as it looks like. And here you see a little nipple here. That's the connection to the wheel pack. All right, inspect the wheel pack a little closer. We can see three discs or three wheels, which are somehow connected. They are connected by these uh, wires here, by these band wires. So actually when you turn, you turn one wheel and when they meet at the position where the wires meet, they can take along the next wheel. So that's the way it works, that you can turn one wheel by turning another. And by doing this you have to manage to get all the three um, gates aligned so that this bar here can retract, fall in and finally we can pull on the uh, bolt to open up the lid. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So with these holes here you can change the, the code. So actually the, the uh, we, maybe we can call this inner wheels, so these, these brass parts here that are relevant for, for the code um, depending at which position on the uh, on the outer wheel here you, you place it in, you have a different code and we have to do a different uh, turning motions to get all the three uh, gates aligned. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, very interesting um, mechanism, uh, very cool to inspect, very safe. <laughs> yeah. That's why they call it safe, I believe. <laughs> All right, yeah. Carlos, thank you so much for sending this awesome uh, lock to me. It's uh, wonderful. I never had a uh, lock like this before. It's so cool that we can take it apart and look at the um, guts really close and uh, put it back together with no deal, with no big deal, so no problem at all. Um, very, very cool. All right, so Carlos, yeah, thanks again for the cool lock and everybody else. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye.